The strength of Israel is its defense forces. They afford us the ability to seek peace. And what America has contributed to Israel security is the best guarantee to end the march of folly, the march of terror and bloodshed. Nuclear weapons. Hypersonic missiles. A $2 billion submarine. Israeli new submarine can change the world. Israeli's army can invade every country on Earth to neutralize every terrorist within a 10,000 mile radius and get back in time for dinner. The Israeli Air Force can jet to the skies with enough power to destroy entire cities and any enemy aircraft trying to stand in their way. The Israeli Navy can, well, the Israeli Navy is relatively weak and that could be a mistake that cost Israel gravely. For years, Israel has considered Iran an existential threat a ticking time bomb, an arch nemesis. And with Iran's eyes on both nuclear weapons and hypersonic missiles, two types of weapons that need only a tiny loophole of weakness to deal history-making destruction to their targets, Israel definitely has good reason to be worried. The Asian country has, however, now converted that worry into a large, expensive, and powerful beast of a machine. Enter the INS Dracon, a $2 billion mega-cylinder full of technologies, strategies, and weapons that would scare not only Iran, but every other nation unlucky enough to be Israel's rival. So stick around. This is a historical tale of how Israel developed one of the most advanced submarines the world has ever seen. INS Dracon Development in March 2012, Israel placed an order with German contractor ThyssenKrupp for a new submarine to add to its Navy's fleet. Christened the ISN Dracon, or Dragon, this submarine is the sixth of the Dolphin II class, which succeeded the Dolphin I class. The INS Dracon, like all of its siblings, was built in Germany, and so it was able to take lessons from the other five Israeli submarines in service to become a machine that Israel has simply never had before. The most obvious sign of this, so far, is the humongous size of its sail. As the first photos of the submarine emerged, the massive sail, which seemed at least twice as large as those of its sister subs, stood out like a sore thumb. At this point, only a guest could attempt to identify what's contained in this sale. But historically, more real estate in the sale usually means more systems or more weapons, but definitely more overall invincibility. Invincibility continues to be a huge demand for the Israeli Navy. It was the whole point of the Dolphin II class from the get-go. The Dolphin II class subs, the INS Tannen, INS Rahav, and now INS Dracon are larger, more expensive, and over a decade newer than INS Dolphin, INS Leviathan, and INS Takuma of the Dolphin I class. A major technological difference between the two classes is that the Dolphin II boats use an Air Independent Propulsion System, or AIP system, whereas the Dolphin I is powered by a standard diesel-electric propulsion plant. AIP gives the submarine a greater range, speed, and operational flexibility without the need for a telltale snorkeling procedure to recharge its batteries. Modern AIP submarines can be extremely quiet and remain submerged for weeks at a time. And while all members of the Dolphin II class wield these advantages over the Dolphin I class, the INS Dracon takes its capabilities to new heights. INS Dracon Capabilities INS Tracon, like every dragon, is a fireball contained, controlled, and capable of unleashing fiery hell on targets when it needs to. This battle-defining capability is birthed from a carefully reciped cocktail of advanced general features and lethal weaponry. General Features INS Dracon is roughly a 33-foot-long attack submarine with a displacement of 2,400 tons fully submerged, the heaviest of the Israeli Navy. As a submarine specifically designed for operations in the Mediterranean Sea, with a focus on underwater surveillance and special operations, the INS Dracon incorporates Atlas Electronics' ISIS 90-1 tactical control system for automatic sensor management, weapon control, navigation, and other operations. The submarine runs on a diesel-electric propulsion system that produces up to 4243 shaft horsepower combined with an AIP system. 
This enables the submarine reach to have a maximum speed of 25 knots and a range of 2,800 miles, meaning it can travel great distances at impressive speeds to execute its missions. With up to a week of uninterrupted underwater explorations, the AIP system allows the submarine to stay quietly underwater, swim with the fish without surfacing for much longer than it would without the system. The submarine remains stealthy and out of sight this way, protecting its crew and the fish it encounters. Its enormous sail could make the Dracone even more threatening to rivals. The sail could be related to some kind of proof of concept or technology to be used in the future Dakar submarine class, or a feature that enables the submarine to wield a vertical launch system module, or VLS module, for an increased assortment of weaponry. Weaponry An entire arsenal of nuclear and conventional weapons will call the Dracone home. Six 533mm and four 650mm torpedo tubes able to launch heavyweight fire-guided torpedoes are installed to launch them in fulfillment of their explosive destinies. Missiles on board could include the UGM-84C Harpoon anti-ship missiles, the Triton anti-helicopter missiles, and the Celebrity Popeye Turbo, a turbofan-powered submarine-launched cruise missile with a range of at least 932 miles. It is widely believed that the Popeye Turbo missiles can be armed with a 200 kiloton nuclear warhead, providing Israel with a second strike capability as part of its undisclosed nuclear arsenal. One heavyweight torpedo that'll feature in this lineup is the Sea Hake Mod 4, an export version of the DM-2A4 Sea Hatch wire-guided torpedoes originally developed by Atlas Electronic for German Navy submarines. And with the possible addition of VLS tubes, even heavier and even larger explosives that may horizontally be too long to be stored and deployed in the ship's hull, may now have a chance. Vertically, the Dracone's weapon storage has a capacity of 16 torpedoes and mines, a high enough number to rival even the American USS Virginia to a good degree. In addition to the VLS tubes, the Dracone's large sail could also contain a special release compartment for unmanned underwater vehicles, aerial drones, and other special operations and intelligence gathering equipment. This submarine, operated by a complement of up to 45 people, is en route to commissioning as it becomes Israel's go-to submarine to respond to imminent national threats. Alongside frequent partner, ally, and sister-in-arms, the United States. The U.S., on request from Israel, could take to the seas with its own equivalent to the INS Dracone, but a far more powerful submarine, the USS Virginia. USS Virginia The Virginia-class submarines are easily the most powerful attack submarines on the planet. Nuclear-powered and armed with capabilities that not only drop jaws, but also drill massive holes in targets, the Virginia-class submarines are the ultimate machines built to destroy other submarines. The $2.8 to $4.3 billion submarines are the latest additions to the U.S. Navy fleet and therefore incorporate the latest in stealth, intelligence gathering, and weapon systems technology. Virginia-class submarines are designed for a broad spectrum of open ocean and littoral missions, including anti-submarine warfare and intelligence gathering operations. The first of the Virginia-class submarines, the USS Virginia, is the first U.S. Navy submarine to be completely designed on a computer. She was delivered to the U.S. Navy in 2004, but wouldn't spend much time enjoying her new home as just one year later, she would be deployed to support the global war on terrorism, where she showcased her might in bright, indomitable colors. The submarine has a top speed of 35 knots, 40% more than the Israeli Dracone. This is thanks to the General Electric SG-9 nuclear reactor propulsion system that powers the USS Virginia. The American boat also boasts an unlimited range for up to 30 years, a feat that the Dracone couldn't even consider. With a displacement of up to 10,200 tons, Virginia-class submarines are over four times heavier than the INS Dracone. Being a modern warship, the USS Virginia, like her siblings, incorporates several innovations not found in previous U.S. submarines or any submarine around the world. These innovations include the unified modular masts, where all masts share a common design that allows them to be puzzled together into an integrated system for housing, erecting, and supporting the most advanced mass mounting antennas and sensors the U.S. has to offer, such as the U-shaped large aperture bow sonar, lightweight wide aperture arrays on the port and starboard flanks, a TB-29 towed passive array for rearward detection, and so on. The result of all these is a wholesome and efficient sensing of the environment that gives the submarine a sense first-kill-first advantage over the opposition. 
Each Virginia-class submarine is armed with 65 missiles and torpedoes in total, including the UGM-84 sub-harpoon missile, the novel anti-ship and land attack dual-purpose Tomahawk, and the Mark 48 Advanced Capability Heavyweight Guided Torpedoes. According to open-source budget documents, Virginia-class submarines could top off this invincibility by being the first submarine to wield high-energy laser weapons. Cutting through the waters at blazing speeds and packing enough firepower to heat up the sun, the USS Virginia of the US and the INS Dracon of Israel are two submarines that would strike fear into the hearts of whichever threat is unlucky enough to be their target. To make the submarines even more powerful, subscribe to this channel and give this video a like. Thanks for watching.